All right, uh, we'll do a bit of Isaac and then I'll play that cat game that everyone's playing. Uh, yeah, so I, I caved and got and got the game, but didn't get it, get it. In a sense, I looked up how much it cost. Just out of interest. And, uh... Pretty much, long story short, the cost of the game was almost double what the cost of upgrading my PlayStation Plus membership cost. So I was like, I could pay $40 for the cat game. Or... I could pay $24, and the rest of the year uh, I have the highest tier of PlayStation Plus, which includes the cat game, and all this other stuff as well. So, that's what I ended up doing. Who is this character? Uh, this is a Polian. He's not a new character, he's been in, in the game for a while, like... Yeah, I mean, look, it looked interesting enough. I don't know if it felt like $40 interesting, but $24 interesting, and then I can access other games that I might be interested in playing, sure. Oh, whoops, I thought it was dead. My bad. You've never seen this character ever. Probably because not unlocked. I don't know, and it also depends when you played this. His whole gimmick is he has an item that consumes. So for active items, they become part of his void item. And for passive items, um, they give you two random stats. So the way you play him is you try to absorb active items to make your active item stronger. And if you don't like a passive item, you just absorb it instead. But take this for example, I could take it to get poison shots, or I could absorb it to get two random stats up. But I'm gonna take it. It's useful because if you get items like, for example, that are just a range up, you just absorb them and then you get two stats instead of the one. Okay, so, like, Stray intrigued me when I saw the trailer for it. It did. But the thing is, I was like, is this going to be one of these games where it's purchased just because of the premise of the, of you playing as a, as a cat, right? And it's like, oh, adorable animal. It's going to sell. But then the gameplay will be bad. But, uh, I mean, for multiple people, I've heard it's good. So... That's why I didn't jump on it right away. Take the help up. You've watched other people play. Personally, I only played the Wrathful Lamb on an emulator. Right. Yeah, I think this was at at, at uh, Afterbirth. So.
I'll probably explain why. Yeah, that one was being aggressive for whatever reason. Just kept spawning stuff. Ninety-nine bombs. Spend one bomb to get ninety-nine bombs. Gee. Hold on. <laughs> I was about to pick that up. Like, what are you doing, you idiot? Use the bombs first. Oh yeah. Good. I think these are worth doing because it's the urn can give money. I've seen it happen before. Probably not gonna do it now that I've said it. More spiders than money. I mean, I had 99 bombs anyway. Oh shit. Yeah, I mean, I didn't walk away empty-handed. I got something. For the life of me, I can't remember how the interaction with this works. I don't- I think this is one of the items that gets ignored by the void. Um... Who's the character in my emotes? Uh, something my brother designed. For the longest amount of time, I had the emotes that... Well, I guess just kind of random, I just... Picked some random Australian memes and I don't know, they didn't really have any cohesion or anything. And then I was like, all right, I need to take it seriously because he does animation and all that kind of stuff. I was like, just design me something. And so he did. Don't think it's representative of anything, it's just something I got him to do. So then they could be unique and have a theme, and then... If eventually I got to the point where, you know, they mattered enough... Shit. See, that's why I didn't do it. Does it have a name? Nope. That's what I mean. I, it's, it doesn't have much thought. Beyond he designed the character. Okay, so I can maybe force the issue here. Uh. Uh. You're gonna call him Matthew, that's boring. <laughs>
I mean, if you're gonna give him a name... I don't know, I thought something more original. All right, when the time is right, the name will be re revealed. Okay. Okay, Mr. Original gave me your idea then. I already said I wasn't gonna. See, that's the thing. I, I can abstain. I'd rather think about it and not give an answer in the moment. You know? It's like... Something that's bad will be bad forever, but something that's delayed and good eventually is just good. I don't believe in giving answers right away if I don't know them. I'd much rather be like, alright, I have my answer now, and I thought about it. It didn't work. Um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna pull a power move then. never actually figured out what happens. If you duplicate the key. Hey, what am I doing? I have bombs. I'm not going to. You know what? I can't hit the button again. I can't take this with me, so... I'll just get a refund for my money and then some. There's also a strong chance I'm gonna die, so how about we invest in ourselves, so to speak. There we go. Upgrading the shop is in my interest anyway. I just got this sinking feeling like something bad's gonna happen right away. these things. They're hard to approach because they shoot directly in front of you. See, I was right. I'm glad I threw all that money into the, the bin. 
I just had a feeling it was gonna give me like some annoying room. I don't feel bad about that because I just dumped like 50 plus coins into the donation box. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like it's more useful to absorb that. That item has limited use. Okay. Decent. Just on the off chance that maybe it gives up in one. Always a possibility. I was about to plant a bomb right away and then I realized, wait. Previous run. Ah. Yeah. I don't think my dodging skills are top notch today. Yep, of course it exploded. Okay, one sec. Right now I'm asking for it by doing this. Oh, okay. I think that'll do, and then I'll just grab this. Do not consume the bag, because that means you take damage every time you use it. Ah, good enough. This is an annoying room. Okay, that's useful. I'm gonna go for this either way, like... 
think it's worth it. Or not. Toilet flush. I'm gonna go use it before absorbing it. Oh, cool. It's a better trinket. Maybe I don't want to absorb it. Let's just see. I'll go fight first. I don't like this fight. Something from the future. Okay, staple is damaged, so we're taking it. Uh, let's see what they are. What is that? That's the pact. Well, you know what? Let's just do Devil Boy Run. Okay, consume the toilets. Ah, oh, you dick. No, but it's okay, because what I can do... I mean, effectively, it's the same thing. It's just like, I get it for free. More or less. Double toilet flush. Which I, I mean, I guess is neat. It's like... You hear the, the sound effects stacking. Oh, it's a labyrinth, okay. It just means for anything else, uh, that's a good use item, it, it'll be pretty decent. Like, if I get something like the books, double duration books is, uh, really awesome. Isaac's doing a double flush, so it happens. Okay, I have the range.
Hmm. Okay, not really worth. I just figured since we're not gonna get multiple shops, just go have a look. Toilet flush. Double toilet flush. Oh. Alright, that's cool. I, I got to get that because I can absorb it into my, my being. Um, does, does it even matter if I get it? I guess not. Because Toilet Flush destroys... anyway. The bat is pretty cute. I assume when you say that you mean... the, uh, the chunky bat. I'll do this just for the items and the charge. Things are so tanky. Okay, I mean, I nearly got the charge. slow stuff down, anything that's chasing me. <laughs> Double flash. That's annoying. Useful slowdown is useful. Be in here.
Really? It's, what? Where is this then? Hmm. I guess it's probably right next door. Yeah, there we go. Absorb. Now we have the bad key as part of our being. I can open challenge doors and stuff like that. I can't believe I got this boss. This is rough. Oh god. Alright, whatever. Uh, take it. It's a damage up as well. It's kind of rude to be getting that boss this early. Does give me two soul hearts, so it's worth, I think. Okay, I'm gonna go check out the uh cursed storeroom. Mm. Of course. Why would it be useful? Mm. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about this confidently. Flush. That was worth it because I got multiple things out of that. I thought I heard a door open, or am I wrong? No. room.
I'm constantly getting these obnoxious rooms. Forever. Okay, I'm safe here. Oh my god, is this hot stage is gonna take all my health? It's done nothing else but that. Okay, more options in store. Wow, if that's not karma, I don't know what is. Go away. The heart and tears. I'd be taking the health up. I'd be dumb not to. curse room. I'm gonna have to do this. I'm not losing health over this. <laughs> I'm not losing health over it. What? Yep. Well, now it doesn't matter. This was such a horrible floor. I had multiple rooms that just took away so much of my health. I'm absorbing it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take it. Like at, at this point, that's the better option. I don't know, I don't think this is gonna go anywhere, to be honest. I need something amazing to happen here, or... Yeah. Three HP, second phase, not great. Those are cleared. To it. Right side, if it does drop something, I'm, I'm absorbing it. Did 
you want, do you want to maybe get out of that corner? much of an alternative. Okay, this on the other hand. boss to get in here. Mm. I think I'm out of luck here, like I'm basically dead. Oh, no another enemy that just fucks. Two tanky, scary enemies. much health I have left. assume I have three hearts now, at least. What is this? Rune Shard. I'm not going to give up the power to teleport to the boss. daily now. It's just horrible luck when it comes to items. Okay. Hell of a room to get. <laughs> right away. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> uh, uh. 
Wow, game is dickhead. I wonder how many people are going to be taken out by that bomb. Like that, that is a run ending bomb right there. assemble they are they are useful Damn. nope bye absolutely fucking not use it or lose it that is. Yep. Nail gun. What? Dude, what is it with this run and things trying to instantly kill me? Ah, oh, I'll miss at it. It's okay. Still worth that I got refunded. It's sad that this character already has way more damage than my previous character. Like, we're already well past it. Good boy. Divorce papers. It's like a little shadow demon thing. That was like, take multiple pills. Which is a very interesting one. The Brib Shield.
No. Careful. Whatever, even out. I think this is gonna be very quick. Bob! <laughs> Friends till the end. Makes this not worth. Stick to the damage book. Time travel. Soul heart. Wow, what a room. Gee, the time travel book would have been useful there. It's okay, hopefully I'll get some of these hearts back. Oh, I got one back. Alright, fine. I can't believe it's still no angel room. Okay, the next one's gotta be 100% guaranteed. Quest one. Where'd it go? It just keeps replicating. What is this coin? That's it, it's gone. That was a lot of money. Friends till the end. Okay. Oh, 
I mean, that's nice. Why is that rock there? Can't reach that. Um, sinus infection? Yeah. dead. Uh, yeah, it is up, thought so. I just want that stronger angel room chance. That's good. Shit, it's stuck. It's one of those stuck pennies. I was kind of hoping I'd get a heal out of it. Wait, why, why didn't I take this? Just take it. Curious, what is this gonna give me? Oh, okay. Metroid bombs. What the fuck is this thing? It's just, it's just constantly giving me money. Alright, nice. I don't have keys.
I need that key to get into the shop, so we're not using it. I'll use that in a minute. Eh, lemon party. Okay, we have a restocking shop, so what I can do... Might be options. I forgot what the inverse Empress does. I got the feeling that if I use this, this is gonna re-roll me. Just a hunch. Weird. Piss off, come on. How's this not exploded yet? Alright. I did my best. But this is different now, they've rebalanced it. That's not the same as it used to be. Mind you, I think it's fine... Strength. ...now. I just, I can't use it. I can't use it going on because it effectively becomes a devil deal. Like everything that would you could pick up normally becomes a devil deal. So as long as I use it just to heal up here, it's fine. But 
but I might use this one just to get some damage. Yeah, reusable evil, but at what cost? The cost is your soul. thing. And after this, I'll swap back. the red poop. get the other charge, that's fine. Alright, much better position health-wise. I just have to survive these two stages, should be fine.
That's kind of cool. I just noticed what's happening. Like, it gives me a choice of item. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> Justice. Hot. Probably should have looked in case it was a gold chest. Mm, Alright. Do it. Crystal key, call to the other side. Can't say I've ever picked that up. Really? After all that's still a devil deal? Mm, well, this is gonna end here anyway. Alright, let's see. Nail and damn okay, it's one heart. I mean, if things get dire, then hey. Excellent. <laughs> Find out what this is without opening it. Okay. <laughs> ah, thought I got away with it.
kind of glad I got this item. Okay, let's finish her up. to win dude negative five stupid apollyon it's because i got all those marks in one run and then it's like nah now lose five times in a row oh you know what i should be doing how do you do it I think how to do it on console, it's like... Wait. Hang on. Hold both sticks down and L1 and R1, okay. I may as well do this now, because there is a... There's an item you get for quick resetting a certain amount of times. Okay, cool. Just hold it until I get it. I wonder if that's still the case, if it still exists. It's a little awkward to do this, but you wouldn't be holding it. Damn, that would have been a cool run to investigate the one with the books. I guess they're getting tired. Maybe I should look this up. Hang on. <laughs> hey, Prince, how's it going? Yeah, Mr. Resetter, that's the one. Mr. Resetter. Oh, it's like a negative 10 win streak on... Oh, they, it's different on console because they never had quick reset. Okay, I can do that. Let me... Ah. I mean... No, no, I'm going to commit to it. I'm going to commit to it. Even though this is an amazing start. Holy crap, that start was good. Yeah, I got the streak to negative 10, just... Because I don't think that's going to happen with me naturally. I don't think anyway. Doing good, good to hear. Uh, I'm doing alright, just kicking back, playing a bit of this. God gamer problems can't get negative 10. I mean, not intentionally. I feel kind of bad for resetting on the one with the two treasure rooms right away and then 
There we go. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Okay, now we try to take this for real. I always thought that one was kind of dumb, but... You know. I don't want to be one of those dudes that keeps resetting until they get a good seed, because I don't do that. But that one would have been pretty amazing to start, I think. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Hello, Menta. How's it going, anyway? I just, ooh, I just hope that it pays off me, my patience, and not choosing to go the cheesy route. Uh, uh, currently melting in a heatwave. I've heard, like, Europe is uh, experiencing a bit of Australia. But I guess it must be worse because, uh, I mean, you guys don't really prepare for summer, do you? You prepare for winter. Oh, right. Like, air conditioning isn't standard over there like it is here. Yeah, I have co-workers in uh, the UK, and uh, they are not enjoying the weather. They told me that, um, the tube, the, uh, underground public transport they have, people are not allowed to go in there because it's 50 degrees Celsius in the tunnel. So it's, like, beyond what a normal human can reasonably, uh, take, which is just insane. Air conditioning is actively frowned upon, because it takes up energy, is that why? I mean, here it, it's a necessity in summer, you have to have it. Like, don't really get much of a choice. More about the environmental impacts. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's kind of what I meant by energy. It's not the, the money expense, it's more, yeah, resources, all that stuff. It's kind of wild, we had the opposite here, like we had a, a very heavy rain season to the point that one of the states we have here, um, emergency flooding happened. Not where I am, though, so everything's all good here. But it did rain, and it was pretty miserable for, like, two weeks. I accidentally fat-fingered the trigger button. Oops. It's okay, this Bab will charge me back up. Right, Bab? Uh-oh, it might not. Okay, that is, that is enough, technically. At least you have a fan, so you can't complain. But you have a senior dog that's really struggling with the heat. Oh, no. I mean, it depends what kind of heat it is as well. Like, sometimes fans don't really do a whole lot. I remember... Where we used to live was one of, like, the few places that didn't really have air conditioning, because it was when my parents first arrived in Australia, so it was, like, government housing. Um, and what we used to do, we used to get a wet towel, 
put it over the fan so then it would blow like colder poor man's air conditioning more or less it's like the same concept but it did it did help or at least it felt like it did i don't know maybe it was copium Or like uh, another one, we used to take the pillowcase and drench it in, in water, so then you'd be like kind of, you'd be resting your head on a cool pillow constantly. Of course, you'd you'd wring it out so it's not dripping water, but so then at least your head would be resting on something cold. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here in a hoodie. <laughs> Just... Comfortable. Does English have... not have a word for slightly wet? I mean, damp. Moist. Well, those would be the two words. But damp just sounds uncomfortable. I feel like damp has a negative connotation behind it a little bit. And moist, well, I mean... This, this might be tricky now. Really? There's still, yeah, there's still one more, I thought so. This is gonna cause me to have a bad time here. Ah, oh, come on, not right away. <laughs> I have not been having good luck with this character. That wasn't even five seconds. Uh, do what you need to do to survive the summer. Uh, uh. Although, wait, is it, is it still summer? No. Yes. Ugh, I get confused because it's winter here. I don't think this is going to end well because this pill right now... Is doing everything in his power to mess me up. Yep. <laughs> this, this is not gonna end well. I mean, whatever, I succeeded in the daily, it's fine. I guess. Uh, 
please be good. Okay, heal. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think I'm screwed. This might just be one of these days where just the runs are not going well. <laughs> we will see. I'm just waiting for that pill to kick in at the most inopportune time. Oh, I'm just gonna die! Hang on. I'm gonna lean up in my chair. I was, I've been reclining this whole time, so... That might be why I'm not playing well. <laughs> I'm too comfortable. <sighs> How's it going? Well... Not well, from an Isaac perspective, but... From an IRL perspective, it's good. <laughs> At least I can lean up. I'm pretty sure you're fused with the fabric of the chair by now. Yeah, I got a new chair because, uh, I mean, I told the story, the, the chair that I used to have, it was made out of this, like, leather material. Not a real leather, right? It's like that fake leather they kind of put on gaming chairs. And in summer it gets really, really fucking hot in Australia. I mean, hotter than what you might be experiencing now. And you know, you tend to sweat a bit. Because you're forced to wear shorts and everything. Um, long story short, that material kind of starts decaying when it makes contact with human sweat. So, yeah. Slowly but surely, that that chair deteriorated over the course of, like, four summers. It's alright, the one I got now is mesh, and it breathes, and it's ergonomic and adjustable, so... It's been good. And since I, you know, my job involves working at a computer... I figured I should probably start taking care of myself in terms of that stuff and get something that's designed to, uh, not mess with your back. Same exact situation, artificial leather that leaves little flakes everywhere. Yeah. Yep. Just don't, don't get a gamer chair, like, I know they look cool and they're the thing, but an ergonomic chair, whilst not cool, one, it's, it's more comfortable in some ways, and two, it's gonna last, and three, it's not gonna, I mean, okay, it's designed to make sure that you're supported and you don't get long-term issues if you sit down a lot. And they probably cost around the same, which is the criminal part. It's the same with, like, uh, the microphones that all streamers swear by. Those gaming microphones, it's the same thing. Like, you can get something better if you just get a mixer and a XLR mic. You hate gamer chairs, you want a comfy mesh chair too, but the inflation problems, you just can't afford a good chair at the moment. Yeah, that's fair. I got lucky, um... I got mine through Amazon Prime. They had Prime Day, and... The chair that I got was this one that, uh... It's... From a Singaporean company, and it's really good, like... It's just, I guess it doesn't get as much attention as some of the other stuff. But, 
yeah, I mean, the chair so far has been great, like... The, the thing that I've noticed the most is... I'll try to stretch, like, every couple of hours just to make sure I'm not sitting down forever. Um, and usually when I stretch, I kind of feel like, ah, oh, like a relief. A little bit. But in this chair, it hasn't felt like that. Which means, I guess, it's doing its job, like it's not exhausting to sit forever. Yeah, no. We use card. We use card to avoid. Um, I'm gonna try and be a good kid. That was lucky that it appeared, though. Uh, since we have a low fire rate... I know this is less damage, but... It's also toxic aura, so... Which means it goes through things. So it's like, I think this should average out. It's because it's piercing. That's what I, I got to keep in, in mind is like... I think it's doing more overall. It also goes over obstacles, which is really useful. Mm. Ah, I got outplayed. Mm. Oh no. Oh, this room is bad. <laughs> So the only thing missing in this room now, I guess, is like, to set up proper, uh, what do you call it? Acoustic panels, I guess. So then the microphone doesn't sound like I'm in a tin can. I mean, it's not bad, like, but it could be way better. I do have to apply some filters on it just to get rid of some of the noise and echo. But that's one of those things that I've, I've asked about to the landlord and they haven't replied, which highlights one of the problems of renting is like, unless it's critical, they'll take their time. And then when they want something, you have to do it immediately. I'm doing great, thank you. I appreciate the encouragement. Did I look into this new NVIDIA VST that uses AI to remove background noise? Do you need NVIDIA hardware? I mean, I can't imagine why, like NVIDIA's video and this is sound. I do already use a VST to remove noise and it is good, it's just... It's not so much noise, it's more... It's, a, it's the sound profile. It sounds more echo-like. If that makes sense, like, you can tell. Hmm, if I could get that, that'd be nice. The problem with using VST is it does add audio latency. Um, so, you know, it, it might seem obvious at times that um, when I react to something, it's like maybe a little late. Like, okay, I'll say I'm going through the door the moment I go through the door, okay? I'm going through the door. I'm going through the door. Going through the door. 
I've tested this myself and it's like, it's a little noticeable. It's not horrible. But if I was to get a uh, proper dampening, I wouldn't have to rely as much on filters. And then there wouldn't be as much latency. Because it doesn't have to process the audio. Mm. Oh, and thank you for the follow. Uh, for me, as, in, as far as streaming goes, I think the audio is the most important thing. So that's why over the years, uh, bit by bit, I've, I've gotten better audio. I could do better video quality already because my internet connection can handle it, but the problem is because I'm not a partner, um, it doesn't guarantee that my viewers will get that, uh, that button that lets them change the quality from 1080 to something lower. So sometimes it'll be a case that I'd be streaming at a high bitrate and then people on mobile would get lagged because it's too much, so... That's why I haven't upped the video quality yet. Oh, I should have absorbed that. Oh well. Um, okay, do not absorb this. If you do, it's it's death. Because the moment you use it, he will just constantly keep using it and he won't stop until he dies. I had that happen to me once, never again. I don't know if they've changed the item, but this is one of these items that I will never grab. Cool. For you, the sound is delayed. Game sound too by like two seconds and you were too lazy to reload yet, so it's hard to tell. Oh, Twitch does that sometimes. That's just, uh... Twitch's player sometimes. It'll do that too. Uh oh. That was copium. I was like thinking, hmm, maybe I can get a soul heart and prevent death. Yeah, it's the lack of damage that's hurting me right now. It's not great single target, it's good multi-target. Which I guess new coming into it. I'm not having a good time with this. <laughs> Alright, I'll do I'll do one more run, which is this one and hold on. Yeah, this one. And then I'll, uh, I gotta, I wanna check out Stray. That's the thing with roguelikes, it's like, if I'm having a losing streak, I'll put it down, and then... The next time I play, it tends to be a winning streak instead. I don't know, there are just some nights where it's a mix of unlucky, or... You're just not playing correctly. I mean, at least I won the daily, so the, now I just gotta win the next four. The kitty game? Yeah, I, I picked it up. Uh, talked about it earlier. It was either pay $40 for it or get PlayStation Plus, like the, the high tier, for $24 for the rest of the year. Which includes that game and then access to all those other games, so I was like, alright. Fine. Do the PlayStation Plus thing. 
Because I doubt I'd, I'd like... I haven't played it, but I imagine I don't think it'd be something that, like, ten years down the line I'd want to replay it. I might be wrong, but for the time being, like, the better option was just to get PlayStation Plus Premium. Um, I mean... It's a bit absorb, it's just... I just wanted to see if it was decent first as well, which it seems to be. I've asked a few friends about it and streamer friends, and they all seem to be enjoying it, so... I, I trust their judgement. I just thought it might have been one of those situations where it's like, okay, it's a cute cat, it's going to sell well. But maybe the game itself isn't that good. Oh, yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm okay, I survived. Did someone say cute cat? Yeah, I mean... Take Ghost of Tsushima, for example. Not that that was a bad game. Ghost of Tsushima was amazing. But I remember just every time that fox came up, just chat going absolutely mental over it and... Just reverting to someone that can only communicate and oh, do, 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 look at the cute little fox. Pet it! Pet the fox! Oh my god! Pet the fox! But Ghost of Tsushima was great. And yes, the fox was adorable, I, I will admit that. The fox was great, and I kind of wish they would let you pet it constantly, but they didn't. But th that's the thing, once you pet the fox, you can't pet it again until you go to another altar. And then once you run out of altars, you can't pet the fox anymore. But in the, in the DLC for the other animals, you're allowed to go back and pet them, because they're just at a fixed location. So they did improve on that, but... It just wasn't the same, it wasn't the fox. The fox would spin around in a circle all happy when you would pet it. Or it would do like a happy little, little bound away. A lot of attention to detail went into that. They spent resources to make sure that the pot, the the fox petting experience was uh, top tier. Speed run, pet the fox percent. What was another game? Um, Skyward Sword was another one where they wanted me to hang around with those. I don't know what they were. They looked like cats, but they weren't cats. But they would follow you around and they would make happy noises. And then at night time, they would kind of be evil. You know, if I ever make a game, that'll, that'll be, like, priority number one is making an adorable animal and just coming up with all these unique ways to pet it. Put that at the start of the game, it'll win game of the year. Doesn't matter what the rest of the game is, as long as I am constantly giving different avenues to pet that thing. Game of the year. Nintendogs too. <laughs> well, nah. Wait, I'm like that dad that says I don't want a kitten, but I love it. 
Nah, it's, it's, I appreciate animals. What do you mean? I'm just commenting that it's hilarious just to see a bunch of adults just kind of revert <laughs> at the sight of a virtual adorable animal. It, it, it just, it's funny. Like, you know, we could be in the middle of a deep and meaningful, meaningful conversation, like maybe talking about the meaning of life or, you know, trying to solve world hunger, and then the fox comes on the screen and that meaningful conversation will most certainly go down to Oh my god, pet the fox! Pet the fucking fox! Oh my god, look at the fox! That's all I'm saying, is like, it's just, it's amazing just what happens. Animal petting simulator. You know what? I'm surprised there isn't a thing like that already. Like... Maybe you run uh, a pet cafe, like pet cafe simulator. One where people bring in their pets and you... Build a pet cafe. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not denying that it's not cute. I'm just saying it's amusing. <laughs> just like how, you know, the moment that someone can make a sex joke, of, of course, like, the most intelligent person will just make it. It's like, cute pets and smut are like two things that can make the most rational person change. Ooh, what's with the color of this one? I don't think I've seen this variant before. Get juggled. Uh oh. Okay, this is going a little better. Uh oh, I got a key and the library's there. Sweet. Okay. It's one of the best things that can happen for a Polyan. Come on, full book library. Four books. Two books. One of them is Book of Shadows, which is good. There we go. You finish your coffee, so you should really get to work. You gotta work. Good luck with the runs, and you'll silently be watching the kitty game from the corners. <laughs> it'll it'll happen after this run for sure. But yeah, thanks for the chat, mentor. Have fun with work. Okay, in we go.
I feel like that's... Recently it's become standard. A standard of gaming that if you have a pet in there, you have to allow the player to pet it somehow. Why do these things feel so tanky? Or am I, it's, no, it's because I'm missing, that's why. Uh, poison bombs or stats. I'm gonna go stats. I feel like stats will probably serve me better here. Plus I get a little a little friend as well for the rest of the floor. Deal work. <laughs> well you do what you gotta do. Depends what you're doing, like of course, there are people that do work because they have to, but you can have a job that you enjoy. I mean, I enjoy my job. The words of Gordon Ramsay, you got to find your passion. <laughs> Where's your passion? Mm. You're writing a thesis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't imagine trying to, like, uh, you know, write something that's cohesive and, uh... See, it's not even hot and even I'm, tr I'm struggling to find the words for it, but you know what I mean. The heat does not help when you're trying to articulate yourself. There you go. See, that's one kind of thing I, I, I think would be nice, is like if all your friendlies had a different bullet color. There's some items I don't use because they create more bullets that are red and in enemies that already shoot red bullets it's just not great. Ah, oh, come! It got hit by the explosion. Um, take it. It's health and tear up. I think we're at max now. Well, uh, this is not good. This is blind now, so I can't tell what I'm picking up. Yeah, I mean, my character uh, looks adorable now. It's like, shiny baby. Um... Do I trust it or do I absorb it? Could, like, the... Uh, okay. You know what? Trust or absorb? 
That is the question. Is this a good item that's worth getting, or is it a bad item that I should eat up? There's no way of knowing. It's one of these things where if I absorb it, we might never know it was good, but if I pick it up and it's bad, then we'll feel bad. There are items that could absolutely ruin the run if I don't know what they are. Like, soy milk? What do you think, chat? Most people lean towards, like, just take the item. Chaos. Trust it? Fine. Okay, trust. Good trust. Pisces increasing beyond the maximum fire rate and knockback. Not bad. Did nothing though, but appreciated. What's wrong with soy milk? It's good if you have something. Huh. It's- it's- it's not good on its own. Like, if you have soy milk at the start, it's gonna ruin the run. But if you have something that happens on hit, soy milk's really good. But I don't really have anything that's on hit, so it would just be reducing my damage for not much benefit. That's what I mean by right now, it would ruin the run. It's not that it's a bad item. It's one of those items that you need to have the correct setup for it to be useful. Although, uh, yeah. But I guess that was before I got the knockback. At the bare minimum, Guppy transformation would be, uh, the thing that I would want to have before getting soy milk. Ah, uh, this one I'm gonna take. Good move. Take. I think I found the problem with the combo I have in this thing. It's shield and it's unicorn, which is like... Well, not even unicorn, unicorn stump. So I can't do anything when it goes off, it's just a de purely defensive. Two, let's go. Damn. Wow, that, that didn't do a, a whole lot. I'm gonna go in there because I have a way out, so... Okay, check this out. Is that the last one alive? That's the last one alive. Do I have a way to kill it? Spider, okay. Nah, too much effort. <laughs> I'll just kill it. I was gonna lead the spider over here. Okay. 
Okay. I'll take that. Oh boy. Uh, that is too risky. I don't even have the money anyway. Shame, but I'll go pick it up. I'll absorb it. Yeah, I'm a little worried now because I only have base damage and not a whole lot else going on. Dump that in there. I'm surprised that didn't lead anywhere. Oh, geez, that <laughs> it's got a vortex on it. It's pulling me towards it. That would have been useful five seconds ago. I think this is the furthest I've gotten today. doing this. I may as well use this now. I just want to get rid of that so I'm not being shot accidentally. Okay, complete key, consume. Still base damage. <laughs> Jeez, the knockback. Great. Okay, this is not doing me any favors. Okay, well. 
I don't think we should give up. Yeah, my problem here is I've got fire rate, but that's about it. I, I haven't gotten damage or a tear effect to go with it. Okay, more damage. That's cool. We're, we're above base damage now. I may as well take this just to get the extra holy chance. Ugh, this is not good. I need health badly. No, I have to. I'm skipping this room. This room is horrible. Of course, I have to go back through it now. Um, okay, but at least, like, I got some health, so. <laughs> I'm just hanging in there. Uh, oh, I don't have a... don't have a bomb. Crap. You know what, this is fine. If I'm regenerating while in this room, I'll do as long as I can in here. Is cereal soup. I believe the classification for soup is it has to be made out of a stock, pretty much. There's a way for how a soup is prepared. It's not more of a food item, it's more like a, a way you cook and prepare broth. I mean, I'm not a chef, but I know, like... The distinction is soup and stew, and then there's a reason why they're different, even though they're, they're similar. Yeah, soups typically consist of a broth that is made up of some of the key ingredients of the soup, or a stock. I mean, if it were that simple, then pretty much anything you put in water would be classified as soup. Like, you could, you could argue that you being in a bathtub would be human soup if it was that easy. But yeah, soup is about technique and ingredients and how they're done.
okay, please. Oh, this is not a good room. I'm doing this to get rid of them. These things are way too tanky and I'm not doing enough damage. So I figured get another buddy on my side, hopefully it'll help. I did get a pretty good one, this one's alright. I don't think this run's gonna, gonna be a winner to be honest. It's, uh, I'm just not doing enough damage. Yeah, no key. Okay, well. I have a fantastic fire rate, but I didn't really have anything to back it up. Ah. Uh, okay, that was the last round of today. I did win the daily, but I think I'm just not having good luck. It's fine. We'll get him next time. Okay, uh, I'm going to stretch my leg for five minutes, and then we'll uh, start straight. So get yourself a snack or something. I'm going to get some water and, uh, yeah, just stretch for a bit, because I've been sitting for a couple of hours. But yeah, uh, we'll do the daily Isaac stuff tomorrow, so we'll continue.